Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? Fly time Friday. I got some <clears throat> pink, mm. pink hair. Pink. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. <laughs> pink hair. I'm gonna be tying my signature fly with some red yarn. Special fly tying yarn. Shout out to my boys at Fine Bait Tackle, hooking me up with everything. Um, I lost my thing. Oh, that's fine. Um, so we'll be using a a eagle claw. Um, little one knot. Put some of this bucktail on that sucker right there. With some red yarn. I'm just throwing everything. Got the perfect lighting. Fi finally. Take some yarn. Put it all the way down. Put the hook about in the middle. Wrap it a few times. One, two, three. Go back down. Take both ends, put them back together. Put it in your mouth all the way down. And then start wrapping it all the way up the shank. What's going on? Doesn't want to wrap. There we go. Wrap it up the shank and then wrap it down the shank. Nothing pretty. You won't, you won't be able to see the yarn after this. And I use my hands. I will be getting advice to put it right here. To show you guys everything, and then I'll be getting a special some special tools, but that'll be in a few weeks from now. It's gonna be a little problem. But now I've, re I've I'm I'm using my hands. It's a little hard. I haven't got hooked yet. Thank God. Only fly fishing because I was making a doo doo head, and I put a where's that weight? Put this weight right there, that little weight, on a fly fishing rod. So stupid. Never do that. Mm -mm. I've learned that the hard way. There's still a hole in my calf. It still hurts. Still for two months. Thank God my sister is a doctor, I think. No, she's, she's like a standby doctor or whatever. She came, like, she was rush rushing everything. My dad had to hold me down. Um, he had to hold me down because it hurt. It hurt. Okay, so next we'll take some of this. Where did all my tools go? They're all up here ready to go. They're just gone. I swear my arms out messy. I'm just... I don't want them. Well, I got these. These don't really work because they're dull. I like this pink scissors to match this. I don't know why. So, where did the thing go? What do you, okay, I put it right here. So, this is what it's supposed to look like right there. Um, Take some of this red yarn. What's this called, Mom? Bucktail? Bucktail. Let's take some of this bucktail and um, just cut. Maybe I don't want to use all of it. Is so, so how much I have left? I don't want to use it all. Um, I had more of this. I had more of this morning out of it. <laughs> that talks. <laughs> Sorry. Take about. I can really take about that much. Pinch full. Put it on the shank. Just wrap that sucker all the way around. I'm be more made me making more videos. We're gonna go to the. I'm gonna go to a spot where we know. 
back in the Northport Estates fly fishing for tarpon. I guarantee you guys, you will be seeing a video of me catching a my first tarpon on this sucker right there. It's already coming together really well. Gotta wrap it. Wrap it, wrap it, and wrap it. This video will make me making three flies of my own signature. Some of them are prototypes. Well, not prototypes. I use them. I caught a lot of fish. Who knew? I'm really good at making flies. Here's. I can make like a bucktail jig if I want. I'm just killing it. Is this is what it's supposed to look like. This was my first fly with this stuff. It's a little crappy. You know, it's the first fly. I'm getting better at times. I'm not used to using this material. I'm used to using feathers because we have a bird feeder outside. And I'm used to taking feather feathers one of the bird feeder, like blue jay and like a woodpecker feathers. Those are the ones that are really good. I like the woodpecker feathers. They're pretty cool. I don't use cardinal. I just leave the cardinal feathers alone. You know, you know, there's like seasons you're supposed to, you're supposed to have with cardinal feathers. So I don't want to get in trouble. So I don't use cardinal. I do use woodpecker. I don't know what's wrong with uh, it's it just. I just love the texture of woodpecker feathers. I may add some. Where's all this? I may add some of this gorilla glue to the front of this to seal it pretty good. See I don't got the fancy tools to tie and to make it all pretty and look every so I do three, three fingers wrap it around come back around pull it oh dang it just messed up pull it there come on it's not working it's not working you know there there. Oh, oh my god. I did this like eight times yesterday. Every morning before I go fly fishing, I make my own flies in the morning. For like specific spots. I'll tell my mom where we going. Tell me the spot we're going to. Then I tie my own flies. So the first I look up. Uh, it usually takes me this. It usually takes me three to four minutes to make my own flies. Right now, it's just not vibing pretty well. It sucks. Come on. Boom, oh, there you go. So I can't, I can't unwind it. Wind more. Ow, look, it's sharp. Come on, baby. Oh, sucks. What is my Oscar doing in the tank? Yeah, I'm looking at Oscar. He's right there. He's right there. I can see him. I can hear him moving around. Here. Chill, Rick. God. And the, the loud tank you might be hearing with the water is another big 150 gallon with a pet largemouth bass named Shamu. Yeah, she earned that name. Mm -hmm. She's a big girl. She eats everything out of my hand. If you know catch them all fishing, you know her his pet bass Shamu kind of gets the fish food fast. Mine makes you bleed for a little bit. It hurts. So now, if I'm in an emergency and I don't, I don't, I can't tie. I just tie it like that, not slip tie, like that, all clean. That I usually add some of this stuff, special stuff, and I put it down right here. You guys can see my bucktail right there. 
Um, find some more hooks. I got this special lighting right here, right there, and it's just making it's to the fish tank that you, it's, that's back over there. Where is it? Come on. It's to the fish tank that's right there. Right there. So this is the top light. It makes great view. Fish are really, that car is swimming. Here, I made a earlier, I this morning. This one took me a while, but I made a grasshopper pattern. Well, I wanted it to be like a saltwater fly, but this is what it came out to look like. I'm not professional, okay? That's what it looks like. I'm looking at my fly box. It's pretty messed up. Oh, this is one of my other ones I tied this morning, too. Supposed to look like it's just supposed to look like a crab. That stuff hanging out, or I could probably use it to fly fishing. And I, oh, oh, this one took a long time to make. I ain't, I ain't tying one of those ever again. Pain in the booty crack to tie this. One little thing. There's another one. That's the one I use to caught fish on. Kind of ripped out some of the threads. Where's my really, really good fly? Let's see it. Well, I guess I have to make another one. My dad also got a fly rod too, and I have to teach him how to fly fish. That's gonna be fun. Looking for some flies to use. Fly hooks. There we go, right here. Bingo. One of these little hooks I made for my other video. Little. I forgot what they're called. Take some of this yellow. Take some of this orange. This orange um. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oof. I don't. I don't got corona. I think it's saying going around it says no there's no laws with claws. The drink. I might even hold on to drink it. Okay, I got some threads down there waiting for me, screaming at me to pick them up. Just wanna pick them up and use them. I don't usually pick up my threads and use them. I just leave them there. This is like a rare thing. So I'm, I'm running out of threads pretty quickly. Quick, quicker than I thought I'd be running out of them. Are you? It's coming out on. I'm not even in the video. What am I doing? Well, that just sucked. I just ripped out the entire thing. I was just trying to get some of that excess off. Uh, it's kind of stressful doing this. Now, where did my really bucktail stuff go? Where's stuff going? It's disappearing. Mm, God hit me hard. There's the scissors I was looking for. These are sharper than these. I don't get it. God, I sound sick. I don't know why. See, it's much way, it's way better than that cutting. Now, where did I put down that hook? There it is. I got so many hooks right here that I tied this morning, but I never have to use them. Let's try this again. Any of you know what Snake Island here is, is in Florida? I'd be fishing there. First, we gotta go offshore. Catch some grouper. Yeah, my dad caught a grouper and a lassie bass and snapper. Come on. And of course, he doesn't. The reason really know what he's doing. You know. I mean, God forbid he knows how to drive a boat. Expensive one too. 
Look at that, look how much this fell out. Jeez. Wait, what's going on with me? Oh my god, time check, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. My mom, my mom just went to go check in to check, check on me. She sure don't care. Shout out to my mom. And she helps me on um, catch cooks. Best mom I could ever ask for. Got all the excess. Tie that. Dude, this fly is just becoming really bulky. I don't know why. It's looking crappy too. I don't know why it's looking that crappy. Oh, now I just lost the most of that yarn. Okay. See, I already have this piece cut out. Bend it back. So this is going to be like a nymph. It's one of my signature nymphs. I'm not saying that. If you go to Find Bait Tackle, I might start selling some of my flies there. You guys might be able to pick them up and help my channel out. Help my channel grow that way. Be cool. That'd be really cool. Like modeling baits. Now watch them all the time. Shout out to modeling baits if he's watching this video. That'd be sick. I think Marlin Bates should get a flare on my fish. So this is fly time Friday for you. Oh my god, I'm so horrible at this. What do you know? I'm horrible. I time flies. There we go. A lot more. There, there. Yeah, I'm gonna make these. I'm gonna make these flies for my dad. Cause he needs them. Mm. So this fly, look how bulky it is. I can't. So I'll just snip it. Pour some of that glue. Uh, the fly down. Take the cap. Take this thing off. Um, right there, and I'll just put down that piece and just get the sucker applied. This stuff dries quick. I mean, it dries quick and it stinks. Oh, The Oscar series on X game mode. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he's like on X series X game mode. Comment down below on this video if you watch Flare. Flare Farm. That's where I get this. Chill! So those are two flies. I'm not going to tie the third fly because I'm tired and I gotta sleep. Is a trout egg fly. You can see that it's very small. Uh, make sure. Okay, so I'm gonna do the outro. Ready? Let's hope I don't mess up on this. <laughs> so, see you guys later. Click the like bucket. Click the like. What the heck is going on there? I did not see that. That's not supposed to be like that. I gotta flip it around. I gotta flip it around. Okay, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you want to see more of these Fly Time Fridays. Fry t Fly Time Fridays. 
and um, make that subscribe button gray. Click all notifications. I need that. I need that from you guys. Um, I don't. Have, I don't have anything else to say. Just like the. Just hit the like button a million times if you want Fly Time Friday. See you guys out.